Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you guys for tuning in to Real Life Tarot with Renee. I truly agree and truly and greatly appreciate you guys tuning in with me. Um, today I'm doing your reading for the sign of Scorpio, June 7th through June 11th, 2021. You guys, please note that this is a general reading uh, for the sign of Scorpio and all the messages that um, will be read today will not resonate with every Scorpio out there. So please only take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? You guys, there's no gender in tarot, so you know, take the energies how they uh, fit your story and your narrative, and don't try to force it, okay? You know my model, if it doesn't fit, you must have quit. Scorpio, let's get into it with the Magician, the Knight of Wands. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Cross watchers, you are welcome here. Right? Ooh, wee. Somebody's manifesting this Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this Knight of Wands, this little lusty guy. <laughs> this little lusty guy needs to come in and write and bring clarity, or they've come to some type of clarity about this connection. And they want to come in fast with the Eight of Wands. Wow, give me. Ooh, that's too many spirit. You gossiping, Scorpio, West Poppington. What's popping? Brand new whip was dropping. The moon. That's what's popping. Yeah, something sitting. Yeah, something sitting behind this moon. And your person wants to come in with the truth about something. There's some truth hitting behind this moon, right? But somebody is manifesting um whatever illusion that was created with this magician card here, somebody is like wanting to finally reveal right what's hidden behind this moon right could be your energy scorpio could be your person all right knight of wands um yeah fire energy could be dealing dealing with the leo uh aries sagittarius but it's just the energy so yeah it could be anybody to be honest but that's just the energy yeah but somebody's coming in with judgment somebody has come to some type of clarity they made a decision about this connection and yeah they're ready to come in strong hot and fast with the eight of wands baby oh child okay yeah <laughs> for their freaking empress don't play with her i'm gonna put the empress right up here wow uh-huh oh but we got the queen of cups that fell out in reverse uh-oh what this queen say <laughs> what this queen say in reverse mm, yeah somebody um yeah oh let me tell you uh-huh listen listen this is what's popping ten. so they you or your person right is leaving this queen of cups who's in reverse right who was probably a smothering insecure person mm -hmm, for this empress because the empress came out first right this is after right this is this came out first before this this uh this queen of cups okay and your person is definitely leaving this person behind to come towards their empress. Hello. Thank you, spirit. And let me get to amen. Amen. <laughs> okay. That's what's really going on here. Wow. Yes. So your person is finally escaping this connection, right? Um, with this person that they were probably locked down with, right? This person who, and this queen of cups, I'm getting the energy too, that was keeping your person um, away from you. Mm hmm Yep. Empress, that's your, that could be your energy, right? Mm hmm Either you or your person, but I'm just saying this could be your energy. You could be the Empress, or if you are the person who's leaving this Queen of Cups in reverse, you're going towards your Empress. Okay, y'all got it. Y'all know what's popping. <laughs> it's late, y'all. It's late. <laughs> By the time you guys get home, you guys, Child, I'll be having the, the darnest look sometime with uh, YouTube um, loading these videos um, in a timely manner. But it's for the week, so when it loads, it loads. It's for the week, so y'all did it. All right, let's get into the clarification. Scorpios. I hope you guys have been doing amazing, right? Yes. Hope you had a good weekend. I know I did. To it. Okay. Look at spirit. Yeah. I'm going to say it's spirit. Didn't I say the truth? Because 
Thank you, Spirit, for giving me that real fast. That's what's hidden behind this moon. I'm going to put it right over here because that's what it is. The truth is coming out. And they want this happy home with their empress. You or your person? Yes, your person wants a happy home with you, right? That, that's what's hidden behind this truth. And that this is a spiritual partnership. Let's get into it. Yeah, this this your partnership with this empress is this this is divine love. And this Queen of Cups, this little controlling heifer, right? <laughs> Who insecure? Uh-huh. They your person, you or your person been having issues with her. <laughs> and she could that's basically the karmic, basically. I mean just keep it foul. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm just going to bring them down here because this is what's being manifested. This spiritual partnership with the Empress, okay? Right? Clarify the Knight of Wands. Who's the Knight of Wands? Yeah, the Empress. <laughs> you better come through, Scorpio. <laughs> yes, this little fighty sucker. But let's hope you don't be fighty this time, right? But that's hot, passionate love that's coming towards you. I'm just saying, this emperor could be your energy, could be your person. Let me know in the comment fields, y'all. Yes, okay. Clarify judgment. Mm -hmm. Wow, the moon again. Yeah, because somebody's intuitive about this connection, right? Yeah, somebody's coming to clarity with clarity, and you have the the moon with judgment, which is clarification. Uh, and that's just telling me that somebody is finally coming in with the truth. Mm-hmm. Wow. Let's get into it. Yeah. Who's the eight of wands? Who's the eight of wands that's coming in? So hot and passion, Nick. Oh, I think that was temperance. Hold on, let me see y'all. It fell on the floor. Spirit, you know, spirit get excited when they start got when spirit start got oh hermit. Yeah, this eight of wands. Ah, see your eight. Yeah, this eight of wands. Yeah, they want to come in fast, but they were in hermit mode before, right? Mm hmm. But they coming out of hermit mode to come towards you. You guys been marrying each other. Uh huh. Yep, yeah, you've been marrying each other. Yep, somebody's been heavy in heavy contemplation about coming forward, right? And now they're coming with the Eight of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. Give me more. Give me more spirit. For Scorpios in love. Because what? Yeah, it could be a Virgo. Yep. Who else? Ooh, the sun. They are, yeah, something is definitely going to be illuminated. Mm-hmm. Behind this, from this moon. So around that moon comes the sun. And you know the sun is the happiest deck of the cards. Somebody wants pure happiness here, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Somebody wants just a happy outcome. They want they want it all. Give me more spirit. Thank you, spirit. I'll take them. Mm -hmm. Justice. Didn't I say the truth come out? Yeah. Libra energy. Yeah. This emperor is coming in for justice, right? Yeah. In the past, they could have been codependent. Your person could have been um, indulging, you know what I'm saying? Um, stressed out, indulging in alcohol, drugs, or anything. It could have been the work, to be honest. You understand what I'm saying? But they had codependent, or they just could have had general codependent behaviors, or they were dealing with this Queen of Cups who was codependent on them. Th this Queen of Cups in reverse, right? Because in the upright, she's healing, she's nurturing. You understand what I'm saying? She's a love bug, right? But in reverse, baby, this uh, this Queen of Cups is something else. Mm -hmm. Very insecure. She also could have been the one who had addictions as well. You know what I'm saying? Codependency, um, whether it was, you know, just co codependent on them emotionally, financially. You understand what I'm saying? Take it how it resonates. Yeah, but they're they're coming from up out of that. It's not what they want. They want the empress, period. Yeah, because this love is unparalleled. Aww. Right? And you want them too, Scorpio. This is beautiful energy, right? Not for this Queen of Cups in reverse, though, but y'all know. <laughs> Sorry. Give me more. Oh, the star card fell out. Yeah, Aquarian energy. Yeah, they, yeah. Like... With the star card being here too, this is like everything. They are literally like wanting to. Um, they're just. They just. They're. They're having a. They're having faith in in this connection, right? That they could have this and accepting, accepting the situation for what it is, right? 
Mm -hmm. Acceptance is very important. In the past, there could have been issues with them accepting this, which is why they ended up with this Queen of Cups in reverse of whatever, thinking that they was a star. But in reality, Scorpio, it was you the whole time. Hello. Yep. Ooh, yeah. Because they're having a tower moment. Yep. The tower has brought, been brought down to the ground. Yep. Hello. Thank you, Spirit. Any more messages before I go into the hood deck? Thank you. Yeah, they've been resting and rejuvenating before they come in, though. Absolutely. Yeah. Hermit mode. Mm hmm. That's why they've been in hermit mode. This possible Virgo, Pisces, possibly with the moon, Aquarian, you could be dealing with. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody's taking a new direction. Yeah, away from this Queen of Cups and towards their Empress. Yep. Absolutely. Now, for some of you guys, when they come in, though, you may you may decide, you may be the one to decide, decide that you don't want this and you decide to take a new direction, right? Especially if you've been waiting on them or whatever. But Spirit is saying, this is a spiritual partnership all day. It's right here. Spiritual partnership. I can't even make it up. It's right there. Yeah, this is a spiritual partnership with this empress and this emperor. I got a freaking pair on the board. Yep. Scorpios, what's popping? Yeah, but you're going to get justice in this situation, right? Libra energy, you could be dealing with a Libra that's coming towards you that wants to bring this justice in mm -hmm. and, and come with the truth and tell you what the real get down is. And the real get down is that they want a happy home with you. They want love but an abundance with you, right? Yep. Any more messages, Spirit? Thank you. High Priestess energy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Lessons have to be learned in this connection. Mm hmm Yeah. Lessons have to be learned. And whatever secrets is, and, and this is also like, they were keeping secrets too. They could have been keeping this Queen of Cups secret from you. You probably, Scorpio, didn't even know that they had a Queen of Cups. Right? And this is going to come out. Yeah, this is the tower. Mm -hmm. They could have been married. They could have been married to her or him. Take it out of resonates. It's the energy. So it could be male or female. Doesn't matter. But yeah, um, they could have been married to this person. And um, now they want to come towards you, Empress, and, and get their real true love. Right? And this Queen of Cups is having a, a freaking meltdown. I promise you. I promise you. Especially if they know about you, baby. It's about to go down. Wow. They didn't fall. That's a lot of spirit. Any more messages? Solid messages with all that gossiping. Not yet. Okay, thank you, spirit. Yeah, because somebody now has a clear vision about this connection. Look at Malcolm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They know what they want now for real, for real. That's like, oh, no. Uh-uh. I'm bringing the tower down. I'm letting these secrets out with this high priestess energy. Mm -hmm. And you're very intuitive too, um, Scorpio. Yep. You're highly intuitive too. But yeah, you know there's been some type of secrets, but you couldn't, you really couldn't put your finger on it. Yeah, but it's all about to come out. Mm-hmm. But I'm willing to bet that it's that they were in a connection that you did know about with this Queen of Cups who was keeping them away from you, right? They probably wanted to be moved towards you, right? But this person was uh blocking the um blocking the connection and you and it could never get off the ground. That's what that's the energy that I'm feeling with this. Okay. So let's go into the hood deck second edition. Do I want the second edition or third edition? Which one should I do? Should I do the any mini money more? I mean nobody got time for that. <laughs> let's just do the second edition. Scorpios. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a nut. <laughs> Y'all love me though, right? <laughs> Y'all love me though, right? <laughs> yes. So we got the Empress, the Empress and the Emperor on the board. All this moon, the sun. Could be dealing with this Virgo here. Ciao. Whew. The truth is coming though. The truth is coming. All right, oh, that was loud. Sorry, you guys, if that was loud. And we're in Scorpio. 
You guys, make sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe button as well as you watch this video. It helps circulate the video to other Scorpios out there who is really in desperate need of this message. Okay, guys? I appreciate you. Cross watchers, you are welcome here, okay? So if this is your story, you guys, you know I'm nosy. Look at the Empress. Bam. Bam. Could be dealing with an air sign. Mm-hmm. Uh, but cross watchers, um, you're welcome. I like to hear you guys' stories in the comments fields. As long as you guys stay and uh, remain respectful, I truly appreciate it. Because I'm nosy and I like to read what's going on with y'all. I like to know how my readings are resonating with you guys, okay? But uh, it really do be resonating, y'all, because some of y'all's stories be woo wee. I'd be like, well, we could just get together and write a book <laughs> or a movie. <laughs> All right, Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, please give me honest messages of the hood story. What's going on behind the scenes with Scorpios and their loves? Let's get into it. Ooh, yep, she was a karmic. Him or, him or her. They were a karmic. This Queen of Cups in reverse, baby, that came right out. Didn't I say? Yeah, it wasn't about her. Yeah. And they want to fix this with you. The Emperor wants to fix this with you, Empress. That's your energy. Mm-hmm. All right, first middle last yours of theirs. Let us let's go. Because this is your soulmate. Absolutely. It's your soulmate because spirit said it's a spiritual partnership. Let's get into it. Yep. Give me more. Thank you, spirit. Gemini. Uh-huh. You could be dealing with Gemini air energy. Give me more spirit. Give me more of the backstory for Scorpios and love. Mm-hmm. Didn't I say I could be dealing with Aquarius with this Aquarian energy of uh, this star card? Yep. Pop right on out. Yes. Spirit twin flame. Got doggy the diggity dog. <laughs> you like that one? My granny used to say that. Ooh, got diggity dog. <laughs> yes. You could be dealing with a freaking twin flame. And I believe it because, baby, the stress of it all. The sun came out again. Yeah, they want new hope. Something has been illuminated in this connection. Yeah, that they love you and they want to be with you. It's Aquarius. Yeah, something is transforming, right? Mm -hmm. And they've been feeling so sad without you. They feel left out in the cold. They've been in grief and depression. Feeling lost without you. Initial Z. First, mid middle, last. Or is it theirs? Could be dealing with a Zachary. A Q. Q dog. Aries. <laughs> you like that one? Fire energy. Yeah. Wow, spirit. Just all across the room. Yeah, initials T. Yeah, and balance needs to be restored. Absolutely. Yeah, peace and harmony, restoration and rejuvenate. Yeah, and look, <laughs> rest and rejuvenate was out. Thank you, spirit. Double clarification, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's been some time and space in between you guys, right? And now that you've had enough time and space, they're ready to come forward. Yeah, X, or this could be your X, first, middle, last, or is it theirs? Yeah. Give me more for Scorpio, please. V, initials V, as in Victor. Okay, go and drop them, because I see you want to gossip, Spirit. Go and do it. Spirit be telling it, boy. Oof. Yeah, they're emotional over you. This possible cancer, water, energy. Initials F. They're grounding themselves with Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Scorpio, that's you showing up in your reading, baby. They want to come in with hot, passionate love because they're so emotional. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Yeah. Or they can have any of these um, signs in your chart, yours or theirs. Yeah, they want the abundance. They want to spend their life with you. They really want the stability with you, Empress. Yeah, and right now they're mentally... Your person is struggling with fears, letting go of the past trauma um, <laughs> with the truth of the matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the truth the truth card is here. Yeah, they're struggling with the truth. They're struggling with the truth. But they know they got to tell it in order to, for them to have you back. It ain't going to work no other way. Yeah. Any more messages before I go into the um, angel oracle messages, Barry? Any more messages for Scorpios and love? Okay, okay. Wow. Capricorn, devil energy. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, yeah, because this uh, Queen of Cups in reverse was a fake lover or a friend. Mm -hmm. But it was a, it's a fake lover. 
They could have had fake friends too, but this was a fake letter for sure because she came out in the reverse. Yeah, initials L, first, middle, last, yours are theirs, and they're heartbroken. Three of Swords energy. Wow. But you're highly intuitive and towards your person, and they're trusting their gut to come towards you. Yep. Mm hmm. Yes, indeedy. They coming to get them Empress. Right there, Emperor. Yes, baby. They said, enough is enough. I cannot be with you no longer. Yeah. Initials you, first, middle, last, or is it theirs? Uh-huh. In the past, they had a like mentality, right? Which which drew them to this Queen of Cups who's actually in reverse, right? They were emotionally withdrawn. Mm -hmm. They were immature about the situation. Initials K. That's what's going on, Scorpio. Spirit, give me honest oracle, um, angel oracle messages for Scorpio and love. And then I'm going to let you go, baby dolls. Baby dolls and candy dolls. <laughs> we can't forget about our fellas, our, our DMs, right? Yeah, we need help. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, please give me honest messages for Scorpio and love. Yes, British ain't trust. I'll take it. Yeah, and compromise. Yeah, I know this hurt and I know that it was painful. But Spirit is saying compromise and trust this situation. Right? When your person comes in. Because they're definitely coming with this Eight of Wands energy that had popped out. Oof. They like, uh-uh. You know, that's quick, fast action. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Mm hmm Spirit is going to improve your health because uh, for some of you guys, it, it was literally making you sick being without your person. I'm going to just keep it a dollar. Well. Yeah. And Spirit said yes. Ooh. And no. What? Spirit, clarify. Why? What's yes and what's no? Okay, you guys, I, I don't know what he's saying now, too. For some of y'all, it is a no. Maybe it's a no to this Queen of Cups in reverse, <laughs> this karmic. Yeah. And yes to the Empress. Because um, nothing else in these cards tell me anything different. But let's see what Spirit said. Yeah, for some of you guys, um, Spirit is saying it's not the right time. That's what the no is. Yeah. And that there's probably a better opportunity, right? So you guys use, use discernment when your person comes in to make you this love offer, right? Um, Spirit is only going to give you be able to give you advice. Um, it's up for you. It's, it's up to you whether you want to take it or use your free will. Okay. Right. Because I can't tell you, you know your situation and your story better than mine, which is why I would like for you to leave it in the comment field below so we can all be nosy and uh and see what's popping. <laughs> right. But yeah, but you're def you're, um, definitely got a karmic situation going on here with this Queen of Cups that fell out in reverse, which is um, this person was definitely um, a blockage. And your connection, right? And this is was definitely the moon card came out twice. So I'm sure this is what's been hidden from you amongst other secrets, possibly. Yep. Mm -hmm. But this love is unparalleled according to spirit. Yeah, that's what they're saying. So, all right, Scorpio, that's all I have for you guys. Okay, thank you guys for tuning in to The Real Love Tarot with Renee. I truly appreciate all your subscriptions, your donations, and all the love that you give to me. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Okay, if you'd like to donate to the channel, you could do so at Real Love Tarot via Cash App. And the link to my Cash App is in the description box below. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe, babes. Okay, bye.